Do Browns fans be okay with trading away Trent Richardson to build for the future? What do you think, Papi? Oh, the 0-16 Browns stink. Yeah, the 0-16 Browns are not really good today, and I don't blame their fans for being upset, even though this trade makes sense for them. Trent Richardson isn't going to be for them what he's going to be for the Colts. What they're mad about is a decade of mismanagement. What they're mad about is that the previous regime took Brandon Whedon, and when you take a first-round bust at that position, it sets your franchise back for years, plural. And here's the thing, though. They've consistently told the fans in Cleveland, wait for next year. There's even a website called Wait for Next Year. Last year, they said pretty much wait for next year, and they drafted Trent Richardson and Braden, Brandon Whedon. They're both gone. I have never seen a team begin to tank two games into an NFL season because tanking in the NFL can get people hurt. But let's be clear, as much as they gave up on this team and they gave up on this season, they gave up on Brandon Whedon in a spectacular way. This is like, I'm out sick from work, and while I was gone, you cut off my internet, gave somebody else my chair, and said I might get to sit down when I come back. I'd be done with hard work forever. This is why they're mad, though, because a previous regime, Mike Holmgren, took Whedon in a panic. That was his vision in a panic to save his own job. So now the new regime comes in and erases what he does. They've been doing that rinse repeat there for a decade. Someone else trying to apply their vision with someone else's vision and someone else's players. And you see what happens. They haven't had a quarterback since Bernie Kosar. How about the moment of silence for the Cleveland fans?